Hey guys, and welcome to the final part of the final, er, the final part of the final area of the first chapter. So, let's seize with Micaiah. Wait, is there something we're forgetting? Indeed there is. I mentioned that Tormod would, along with Miriam and Vika, would not show up after this area. So, well, not until part four. What you're going to want to do is trade over everything they have to somebody else. Even if that person can't use it, I'm sure Tormod's fire and Elfire will come in handy for somebody down the road later on. If not, we can always sell it. The Black Knight will not have any use of anything he has now. Um, okay, she doesn't have anything left. Nahala doesn't. I don't know if Raphael stays. I don't think he does. But he doesn't have anything. So now we have everything we need. The Black Knight doesn't have anything else. You can't take their weapons, but whatever. We've won! We've taken back our country. Dane is under our control once again. Alright. Thank you, Micaiah. Thanks to you, the kingdom of Dane lives again. I didn't do it alone. We did it. Everyone living together. Well, you didn't hurt the effort. I'd hazard a guess that Dane's reconstruction would have only been a dream without you. So true. I regret I have another way to show my gratitude, but... I want to officially name you Supreme Commander of the Armies of Dan. I see and I accept. It is with great honor that I assume this office. This battle may be over, but the fight to return Dan to its former glory will take time and effort. If my support can be a service, then I am honored to assist. I'm glad. Well then, I'll perform the simple ceremony. Will you kneel? In the name of King Dan, I dub thee Micaiah, Supreme Commander of Dan, and grant thee the, the authority and the responsibility pertaining thereto. What does that mean? That means Micaiah is getting a class change. So she is now a light sage, level one. And I think I'm about to sneeze. Hopefully that will not happen. It feels odd. And since that was a class change that was involved in the story, the picture of her will actually change. Hey, that was where we ran away a long time ago, in like the second chapter. Some of the army people, they're like showing off to the ladies. They're like, look at my dance, it's so manly. Because I am a manly man. So... I don't know why Meg's trying to escort him, because Meg's kind of weak. Yes, I'm adjusting the camera. There we go. That looks better. He stood at the top of the stairs. What does that mean? That means apparently we have now officially won now that he is standing at the top of the stairs. So while everybody is celebrating at camp, As I already mentioned, they have a conversation that they're leaving. Because most of the day and still hate the Lagoos, they're going to just slip away. She thanks Miriam for not telling anybody that she's branded. And then the old woman that used to house her before she died told her about the mark 
She told me to never let anyone see it and always be on my guard. Wise advice. I'll be there, but I won't be waiting. Waiting for people who never come is hard. Aww. I don't care. So they choose to leave as well. Aren't you going to Gallia? Yeah, we're taking them. Neither of you can leave Dan. Don't worry, we'll handle it. I can't believe you're all leaving at once. No! And what does she do? She gives Raphael a hug. Aww. However... Guess who decides to stay? Vlug! That's right, Vlug is still part of the Dan team. As if you didn't already have that annoying bird, and it starts flying over him. Ouch! Ow! 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 I take it back! Ugh, funny. Soth does not like Yune. At least Vlug can fight, though, unlike Yune. Yune just flies around all over the place. So, part one is Finn. Still to come. While Dayton celebrates its rebirth, rebellion spreads across neighboring Crimea. The young Queen Elizia holds the throne, but her nation is in turmoil. She begins to doubt her ability to rule. What will become of her country? Part two of Countries and Kings. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. I am going to be taking a break from this, and we're going to do so, like a mini-series, you know, like something really small, and then maybe one other really small thing, and then we'll come back to this, and we will start part two of Countries and Kings. So, I will see you all in the next uh, whatever I choose to do. Later, guys!